What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another farming simulator video, and in today's video we are on the single player map, and we are going to be doing some tree planting. So in the past, we have done the, I think it's pop, no not pop flower, it was the fir tree plants. Let me just go in here to the pallets. So yeah, it was the, it was just pallet saplings, which are the fir or um, pine trees, but those ones are still grown, as you can see here, we got them lined in this road here. Uh, mainly just blocking off all the borders. You got them all the way through here. That's what they look like when they're fully grown right there So what we're gonna do is this is about three packs here And we got one two three four five six seven packs that we can still use and then I got one loaded up here on the John Deere 4955 So we are going to be using this guy all day and we're not gonna do just these pallet saplings We're also gonna get some of these Let me show you the poplar saplings, and we're going to be planting these ones into a field, actually. Um, mainly so we can maybe, I think you can maybe fertilize them and do a couple other things. But So I'm just going to get started right along here. I'm just going to do another, uh, just another wall right here, protecting, um, like, winds and whatnot. I don't know, whatever you want to say would be coming. All right, so we drop it down, and it's on. So you can tell it's on because it's really, really slow, and it just drops those little itty bitty seeds right there. All right, so it'll move at about three miles an hour for the entire thing because it's basically just digging up the ground real, 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 real deep. So you got one. So you got three planted so far. So that's 17. There's about 20 per case in this pallet. I don't know how much are in the other ones. I think the other one might have been 40. Mainly because you're supposed to plant that one in like a field, but I'm not sure. So right here at the t curve, we will drop one. There we go. Wonder if you could plant one up here on these rocks. You probably could actually. Eh, not that realistic though. All right, so there we go. We got 13 down. Top into first person view. All right. There we go. There goes another one. All right, so we're just going to do all of these here, and then um, once I drop off this load, we will then proceed to drive to the store, and then we're going to probably just load it straight onto this planter right here. There we go. It's weird. It keeps speeding up at random times. So now we're just going to go straight across here. A little bit hilly, but oh, it's, it's okay. All right, what do we got? We got eight left. All right. And then we're just gonna crank the wheel around. Oh, there we go. That was weird. It speeds up and then drops. I don't know. There it goes. I think it loses its grip on the ground. Five left. And then. There we go. I wonder if, what happens when you hire a worker. Oh, they don't do it. Okay, never mind. Don't hire the worker. Workers don't do anything. There we go. I need to go clear that field over there, actually. Alright, two more of these. And then we will hoist it up, and then we'll head down to the shop. Uh, make sure this is kind of straight line. Make sure they're not uneven. There we go. Alright, now let's grab these pallets. Let's go through here. Alright, so... Oh, wow. Alright, so... These have a huge difference. All right, so this is 2,000, this is 20. So let's hop over and where are we at? Oh, we're up here, okay. So we're gonna go down to field uh, 24, because we own field 24, and last thing we planted on there was potatoes. Um, it's actually, no, never mind. it should be cultivated right now. So let's hop back over to our John Deere. All right, there we go. Pick it up, take it up out of the ground. Make sure it's off. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go down to the shop. We're only gonna buy one for now just to see how it is. Maybe just so we can test the waters and see how it is. Cause they're 280 a pallet, which don't get me wrong, that's like nothing compared to what you yield from an actual harvest. But uh, we're just gonna wait and see. Maybe cause I don't know what these trees even look like. I'm kind of curious. All right, so I'll see everybody down at the shop. All right, everybody, here we are. We're back here at the shop. I'm just gonna pull in here. Oh, pop the curb. There we go. And we got the trailer still here. Don't remember why that was here. All right, so let's go into the pallets. Select. Let's go into the poplar saplings pallet. All right, purchase one of these. 
Alright, so I hope this is the one to plant them. I should just say refill in the top left. There we go. Alright, so we got them on there. What do they look like? Let's hop out. Let's hop out and check these out. So a lot of you probably have already used these, but I have not ever used these before. That looks weird. It looks like little... It's like little bamboo stalks. I have no idea what these are going to do. All right. I'm going to drive these all the way back. And we're going to go to fields. What was it? 19? No, 24. 19 is our grass field. So we're going to go to field 24. And that's our potato field. But that's fine. It doesn't really matter because we already got plenty of potatoes. And the pigs who do take the potatoes don't really take us like, any at all. Probably should probably re return all that leased equipment for them, actually. We're going to set this on the autopilot. All right. So... We're going to go back there. We're going to plant uh, probably about a row or so. I'm not sure exactly how they plant. Mainly, that's probably my issue here. They plant up to 2,000. So maybe I can hire a worker and the worker will automatically refill. But I have no idea. And why, I wonder why we're losing so much money. We're ticking down like a dollar every second. Not even. Probably faster. Maybe I'm using too much gas. Alright, I don't know. Alright, let's get ready. Let's merge over here. There we go. And I also am going to be expanding here soon. I think we're going to be picking up field 23. Uh, mainly, mainly because the farmer, we have a good relationship with him. It's uh, Jim Harris. And we've done quite a bit of work for him on field uh, 24, which is why we got that one fairly cheap. And 23 is not too much more. But 23 is also a weird shape, and it's huge. Um, mainly just think about just tossing just soybeans on it. Let's just uh, check the price of it really quick, actually. All right, so 136,000. Oh yeah, and look at that. He's a little bit over half. He likes us. We haven't we haven't stomped on his crops too much. All right, hit F1. There we go. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you guys ever have any questions on like what keys I'm hitting or anything, just put them down in the comment section. Uh, if I don't answer them, usually somebody else will answer them because we had somebody ask uh, how to go into first person, and that one is easy. That one's just C. So yeah, if you ever have any questions, just post it. Either me, myself, or somebody else will do it. All right, so let's see if we can just hire a worker for this. All right. Wow, it actually does. All right, let's hop out of this. Sorry, I didn't mean to block you. Okay. So they plant a lot, and I should have went more towards the edge. Dang it. Okay, this is going to be weird. I wonder how long these ones take to grow. I don't really want to time lapse these ones this time, but maybe next time we will. Alright, so I'm going to let him do his thing or her do her thing, whatever the worker was. Well, they're going to go for a long time. Alright, so we're just going to go back over here then. Where is it? Ah, there it is, the Duramax. The Dirty Max. We're going to take it back. We need to get this thing power washed anyway, so maybe I'll power wash it by the end of this video. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're just going to take back our little tipper, mainly because I need to clear out the harvester who's just been sitting there. He's been waiting for quite a while. It's been probably like a two days now where we just, we just left him sit there. Still a worker in there, though, which is pretty impressive. Um, let's just go around here. There we go. Do I have... Oh, there that is. Alright, all right. we'll just we'll drop that tipper off. Probably shouldn't just be leaving it out in the open, but you know what? Oh, well, what are you going to do about it? I just, just got to get to it quick. All right, so this one's got a ton of corn in it. All right, and hook up. There we go. Yeah, see, even the Duramax has problem pulling this giant trailer. This thing is almost on the br uh, bridge where you need to just, uh, just say screw it and go with a semi, but semis are really expensive. All right, there we'll drop it right there. We'll let that drop into the bucket. All right, how do we got? Productivity zero, what are they talking about? Oh, it's because the game hasn't been open long enough. That's really weird. It'll update here soon. Let's save the game real quick. All right. So we're just about done. What do we got for corn right now? What's the selling price for corn? Wow, the KSIH, oh wait, what is that? Oh, is that the header? KSIH. 10, 30, 14 footer. What is the KSIH 10 foot or 13 footer? What is that? Oh, this one. Is that the only one we have? Um, 
Yeah, that is the only one we have. That thing is costing us a fortune right now. Maybe I should go get rid of it. I might get rid of that soon. Yeah, pretty much just waiting for them to plant all that stuff over there. How much is corn selling for? Uh, corn is fourteen twenty-six at Mary's farm right now, which is going down, which means we need to go sell quick. Fourteen thousand. We got twenty-seven thousand worth of corn. Let's go. Uh, let's swing by the silo, pick up whatever we can grab, and we will go and drop off a load of corn, man. Because I have not, I've not dropped anything off in quite a while. I've kind of just been stockpiling here. I think I'm going a bunch of soybeans right now because I need the money because I'm really, really wanting to buy that. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I really wanting to buy that uh, John Deere harvester is what it was. All right, we'll see how much this will fill us up. Nothing at all. All right. Well, do the pigs have plenty of corn? If the pigs have plenty of corn, then we're going to call it. We're going to call it good. And we're just going to go drop it off. Yep, pig has got plenty of corn. Alright, we're just going to drive through all these bushes. Alright, I wonder if... Some of you probably know this, but I have that automatic seed refill on. So maybe... This chick here... Yep, she's just automatically refilling this uh, bucket of poplar santa sa sapling. Whoa. Poplar sapling right here, so... That'll never run out. We'll never have to buy more, which is a good thing we didn't buy a bunch then. So it looks like only with the uh, the pine ones that you really have to go buy a bunch because you have to do it yourself, and you can't just automatically refill them because that'd kind of be real cheaty. All right, so we're just going to go take this up here. That's the quickest way to get to Mary's. All right, you could go over this mountain here, but that is very, very unrealistic and would most likely break my truck, so I'm not going to do that. We're just gonna go along the edge of the road here, then take a right, and we're gonna go drop this off. I'm hoping to hit around 120,000. The harvester I want is around, I think it's 200,000, so shouldn't be bad with this next soybean yield that we are going to be having. And then we're also gonna get started, we're gonna start uh, chipping. That's the whole point of this, I never said that. The whole point of me planting all these new poplar saplings is we're gonna start chipping a bunch of, bunch of the wood and hopefully making a bunch of money and you can turn it into, let me show you guys this really quick. There's a placeable here called the heating plant. So you drop wood chips in it. Um, it's like a selling station and it just heats it up and burns it and makes you money basically. It's super simple and easy. You only, you can set it right there, right next to the field where you're doing it on. And you can just have like a never ending thing. And it's super easy. The hardest part is definitely going to be the whole uh, logging portion which is what I'm thinking we should get the squad in here for, which would be the forestry equipment right here. Where is it at? So yeah, we're probably gonna, oh, we're gonna buy one of these, maybe a buffalo. Probably not the buffalo, probably the scorpion king though, because we have a lot of experience with that. Um, definitely one of those, one of the chippers, maybe because those are, those are a lifesaver. It's super easy. If you get a scorpion king, maybe get two scorpion kings in this. And me and the squad can make quick work of a whole field, probably. Alright, so we're gonna sell this. Mary's farm is the highest selling point we got right now. We are selling it for fourteen twenty-five per thousand. Alright, what do we got? Plus four hundred not four hundred, forty four thousand dollars from our harvest income. Alright, that looks pretty good actually. That's not that's not too shabby. Considering the fact that that was just corn and corn is one of the least selling besides wheat, but that's because wheat and that um, wheat and barley produce straw, which gives you a ton more money if you just pick that up and sell it in your barns, which you guys know you can do. All right, so we're just gonna wind our way around here. Probably should have taken the other way because there's nowhere to cross the river now. This is not good. All right, we're gonna make our way back and when we're gonna go back and we're gonna check out see how the saplings are planted and how like what's the spacing on them and everything and then uh next video i will update you guys i'll just walk you through they'll be all done by then um i'm sure they'll be all done and we might get started on cutting them down i'm not quite sure yet but it's probably just gonna be a field of trees just just chilling there on well, chilling there on 24 for a little bit which is fine it's not too big of a deal we're not using it anyways. It's used for potatoes, so... Eh. Alright, going around here. 
where are they? Oh, there she is. You still going? Yep. Oh, just really, really, really slow. Yeah, that's another issue with this, is planting takes forever. You might be able to get a bigger planter, but it's not worth the money, because all you're doing is planting trees, and it's not like they really do them that much. Alright. Let's go run over here and check out the spacings. She made, what, four rows now? This will be the fourth row? Yep. Alright. My dual wheel's kind of running over an entire row, but whatever. Alright, so it looks like they're literally just little trees, and there's going to be a ton of them. I don't think they're going to grow, like, thick together. I think they'll be spaced fairly evenly, but I'm not quite sure. I guess we'll, we'll find out next episode, basically. Yeah, we'll find out next episode. Hopefully, it won't take too many days for it to grow. Otherwise, that will not be good. But I think we're going to end the video here, guys. We did... We got, we got started. We didn't do a lot, but we got started with planting poplar trees and we got a little bit more of those firs planted which will be nice when those finally sprout up like these ones along the road are doing but thank you guys for watching if you guys haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button i post videos all, almost daily about every other day uh i had a little gap here because of the fourth of july weekend but i'm getting back on it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video